match number 20, the final one of the group stages and what an important one it is. The Colombo Stars taking on the Candy Warriors. Near the surface was a dry one a little bit earlier. 129 was defended. The lowest total in LPL history was defended. As the Gaul Gladiators overcome the high-flying Jaffna Kings. It's dry, there's turn. And the seamers are varying the pace a little bit earlier. The Candy Warriors won the toss and decided to bowl first alongside me, Roshan Singh and Darren Ganga. Roshan, just a one change. Yeah, boosted by the fact that Sikuke Prasanna is back. And that's a huge, uh, that's good news for the Colombo Stars, the match winner the other day. But for Candy, it's not good news because Binura Fernando, one of their leading bowlers, have to be left out because of an injury. It's an enforced change, and the leg spinner Colombo is back. There is a short side to the ground, the way to the scoreboard, around 63 meters, and then towards the player's dugout square of the wicket is around 71. Eight meters is a significant difference in size of boundaries when it comes to T20. We've got left arm spin. into the air keeper says it's mine and takes the catch an early wicket great start for the candy warriors just you're speaking about making use of that power play and that's exactly what he was trying to do but look where that ball was he was turning he was playing against the turn so that risk factor and the top edge yeah huge scalp huge scalp always good to set the tone early as a fielding side should have been going over cover, nothing in and hitting across the line. He goes without scoring, pays a heavy price. One for one. In the air, but it's gone fine. This should run down the hill and away for four. Over long on and away for four. Four. Placement. Straight up in the air again. This will take some catching. Oh. Spilled it. Dananja De Silva going for that slog sweep. Here and again, hitting across the turn. That's better. That's better using the depth of the crease. That is spanked away for four. And again, this time, all the way. Pace taken off and away. There's no third man. It's a huge over, 17 from it. He's just looped that over mid on and that'll go for four. He's leading a charmed life, but it's coming off. That's very pretty. Delicate. It's another nice shot from Dan and Jaya De Silva. He just guided that into the gap, used the pace. to you as a batsman when you start to play stroke like this as another boundary has been scored picked off by Kusal Pereira oh stumped he has certainly obliged the cap once again. Vimukti. Pitching middle stump. And turning square. And beating a top class batter like Dananja De Silva. Dananja De Silva gone for 40 of 28. Stars 80 for 2. Confusion between Banton and Kusar Pereira. Banton could be gone here. 
This is going upstairs. Yes, I am satisfied. My decision to the judge. Huge miscommunication. Let Tom Banton be run out. Lots of teams in the middle laws have choked. Is it Columbus Stars choking under pressure? Tom Banton gone for two. Stars 84 for three. Reverse. Six. What a shot this is. Hitting with the spin. And the length is right for him to play it. is 50 they'll come back for two again this is brilliant running it's a welcome half century welcome back to form to Kusal Pereira fielder in the deep watches it go by because it was hit that hard 106 for three this should be out and is and not for the first time we see a long hop get a wicket. Caught at the mid-wicket. Charita Salanka making no mistake this time, but he's found form at the right time for his team, Kusal Pereira. That's put them in a strong position. He's 58 of 38. They're 109 for four, the stars. Very nearly bubbling out of Angelo Pereira's hand. Now look at what happens. That bat hits the boot. And it all happens at the same time. That's where Paul wouldn't have felt the edge because there's a bit of jarring. He's gone for one, 114 for five. Throws his hands at that. And connects the Dinesh Chandamal. They might have to bowl that one again. I and mean, Matthews has flipped it away for four as well. It was almost self-preservation. That was going to hit him, and it's going to be a free hit as well. Went for the Yorker. Didn't quite get it, but it was a low full toss that's been dragged to long on. So no real damage there. Balled away by Matthews for another boundary. It's a bad start to the over by Alamin Hossein. Mid-off is up. Goes up and over. That is smart batting from Angelo Matthews. It really is. Pulled away for six. You mentioned a good point. What one dimension. He covers the entire 360 degrees. And this time, Mohamed Shiraz having a day to forget. Picked up by Angelo Matthews. One bounce. That's the 50 partnership. Bold him. You miss, I hit. Oh, it's that length that finished on the top of off. Alameen nails it, gets the length right, deceives. Angelo Matthews, the captain of the Colombo Stars, but he's done a really good job already. He goes to 29. 167 for six. Heaved away by Chandimal. Just enough. Despairing dive from Ravi Bapara. This is how good Dennis Chandimal is. Uses the pace. He's always trying to hit it behind square. And it goes all the way. And again, that's another four for Dennis Chandamo. Yeah. Same again. Can you believe it? Short, slower ball, down leg side. Six, four, four to finish. 
the stars are up to 182 for six that seems a big score on this pitch exactly what the Columbus stars wanted as a finish well not only did they strike boundaries with regularity 24s and four sixes they also didn't consume a lot of dots just 37 dots in the innings the Colombo Stars have made their highest score of the tournament just when it mattered 182 for six it means the Candy Warriors need 183 to make it to the playoffs they're gonna have to bat really well Won't carry to the field, the first runs for the Warriors and Lewis. Oh boy, oh boy. That's why you need to get him on strike. Jeez, that's 200 meters for sure. Upper tier. Second tier. 113 meters. Wow. Four runs. Probably that's what Minot Banuka has been told as well. Swing for the hills. Straight to the field, a foot down. Naveen Ulhak. Geez, he did well to save his face. That was fast. But the reaction time was too small. That's drop kicked. Too easy. He's just picked that up and put it over the fence. And he didn't build that. Man has power. Oh, he goes again. There's no one there. There's no one in the deep. Back to back sixes for Kenna Lewis. He's got them off to the flyer they were looking for. 50 meters shorter than his previous six. Flat, long off weight, it's Banton. Oh, he's put it down. Tom Banton. That was easy. Good judge at 12. That sliced Angelo Matthews trying to get underneath it. Hands on. When you're in that mood, you'll hit some and you're gonna miss some. But Angelo Matthews, yes, he has an injury, but kept his eyes on the ball, back paddle, and a good catch. 21. And Warriors, 28 for one. That's in the air. Should be taken and taken. Going the other way, you know, Banuka not making it ended up dragging it from outside off stump. The stars celebrate as Minot Banuka walks back, and the Warriors are two down for 28. Banuka made six. Ravi Bofara down on one knee. Down the ground he goes. Just the length, and it's all a little bit full. It still takes hitting. Great cricket shot, isn't it? Just a full swing of the arms, mid on up in the circle, straight back over the umpire's head. This time it'll be four. Nicely hit, straight down the ground. Nicely done, nicely done. One bounce, short and wide with a pace on the ball. He's utilizing those field restrictions quite well, Ravi Bupara. Oh, that was not intentional. I don't think it was. It rushed on to him, it was very lucky. This is swung away on the leg side. That's four. 
There was bounce, and Bopara could have been not stumped but run out. Looks like uh, it hit Tupasad off the pad. Yeah, I can't call it a stumping chance, but I would say, say, four runs. How close is that? Yes. Yes, that looked out. That looked out. He's referring it. Pitching in line, impact in line. Wicket hitting, wicket hitting. You can stay with your original out decision. I will. Well, it was a good decision by umpire Geeti Bandara. No hesitation there. And that took plum. And even you said called it from here. It looked plum. And uh, Charita Salanka got 14. Warriors 82 for 3. Over extra cover. I've been talking about high class batting and high class executions. Well, that is an example. Oh, he's bowled him. Jaffa. And he gets the floss out. He loves a celebration, does Prasanna. Kenny, a batsman like Ravi Bupara. On the back foot. A bit of turn. Clean him up. Now, if anyone had any doubt that Sikuge Prasanna has an injury, that he's carrying an injury, well, that should put you at rest. But Ravi Bopara cannot believe what just happened to him. Gone for 47, it's 93 for 4. Same again, would you believe it? Stuck on the crease, Angelo Pereira. No, that is not the same delivery, it's a different one. Getting the ball to turn, just enough to knock back the off stump. Looks like the balance of this game has changed drastically. It's in favor of Colombo Stars. A short stay came to an end. 93 for 5. Swept into the gap. Will be 4. with the slower delivery, Naveen Ulhaq strikes quite early in this over. It's a slower ball. Marcelo Granada trying to go through cow point. Great change of bowling by Angelo Matthews bringing in Naveen Ulhaq. The pitches are slow, he's the man to go with all the cutters he has on his armory. Marcelo Granada gone for 17 of 17. Warriors, 1, 2, 3 for 6. Is pretty offside. Maybe Maho could tell us if these two could hit boundaries. He was looking for two. I think that's gone. Out, 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 out. Yes, I am satisfied. Well, I don't need to say more. Way short of this ground. Needlessly run out. Not helpful at all for the Warriors. Another one down. And Mukti goes for one. 124 for seven now. Gone for it. Doesn't have enough. Fielder settles. And it's another one. He needs to clear the boundary. His team need boundaries. It just catches the bottom part of the bat as the ball spins away. And it's a simple catch in the deep. And he's been good. He really has van der say that's four for now four for 25 and he can still do more damage with three balls remaining Colombo goes without scoring it's 124 for eight five for maybe maybe could be would be five wickets career best figures for van der say and what a time to get it the biggest stage in sri lankan premier league Last game, we have had to win, producing the goods for Colombo Stars. Angelo Matthews used him pretty well. Yeah, come with the Mendes. Gone for 13. Warriors 1 2 4 for 9. Is it out? Yes, confirmation by the umpire. Best figures in LPL, six wickets. And it's a victory for the Colombo Stars. One thing for sure, there'll be no warriors in the galaxy tonight.
proud moment indeed for Jeffrey Van de Say. Six wickets. Impacting the innings with the ball. Leading his side. Emphatic victory in this, the 20th match of LPL Edition 2. Still very young, with a bright future ahead of him. We will cherish this moment for a long time. So a wrap of match 20, Colombo Stars sent into bat. They really played well. They had a good start by Kusal Pereira. His half century paved the way for the others. Chandamal and Danja De Silva with 40s. Three wickets to Vimukti, but they just couldn't contain the stars. The Warriors, in response, couldn't quite keep up with the required rate. And in the end, Colombo Stars going on to win by 58 runs. A look at uh, where things will sit. In that road to the final, as mentioned, qualifier one, the Kings will take on the Gladiators. And in the Eliminator, the Stars will be up against the Giants. Glory.